The global heat wave this summer has got me asking: How did people in ancient times stay cool, and how did they store their food safely without a fridge? Well, the Chinese people invented paper, printing, and the compass. But for at least two thousand years, they've also been using refrigeration technology. Take a look at this wooden box from the Qing Dynasty, which contains lead and tin, which have good insulation properties. This early example of a fridge is fixed at the mouth of the box, and on the other side is a flap. The holes on the cover release cold air discharged from the box itself, keeping the food fresh while reducing indoor temperatures. Not everyone had ice; it was hard to find, store, and keep. Ice was strictly controlled by the wealthy. Having ice was a symbol of power and privilege. Ice buckets were used by the imperial family and their ministers to cool off during the heat. The court even had a special person who would collect ice from rivers and lakes in the winter and store these inside an ice cellar. In the Qing Dynasty, there were at most 21 ice cellars in Beijing that stored 210,000 pieces of ice. It was not until the end of the Qing Dynasty that some civilian ice cellars began appearing in Beijing, and these cellars were still in use as recently as the 1970s. The Chinese have a long history of using refrigerators. The cultural relic, Warring States bronze ice mirror, in the National Museum of China, is known as the earliest refrigerator discovered in the world. It has a history of over 2,000 years and was unearthed in Hubei Province in 1977. The box is made of bronze and divided into two layers. Food or wine is placed on the inner layer. Ice cubes are placed on the outer layer for cooling. The upper part was covered to prevent the loss of internal air conditioning, which proves that people during the Warring States period knew how to use natural ice to cool down and preserve food. With the advancement of science and technology, the original refrigerator has long been retired. Electrical fridges became popular in foreign countries in the 1920s, and the first domestic examples in China were only introduced in the 1950s. Figures show that China has become the world's biggest exporter of refrigerators, exporting to more than 220 countries and regions, which is about one third of total global sales. China scaled up this tech after opening its economy to the world in the late 1970s, and the production of artificial ice has continued to increase. We've come a long way from the earliest wooden box, and Chinese innovation is a part reason why millions of homes can consume safely today. Please give a warm welcome for James Chow. I'm James Chow, host of the China Current, with a glimpse into tomorrow's world and stories about the human experience everywhere.